This Friday, I am in Washington, D.C. at the Warner Theater, February 11th. This Saturday, February 12th at the Tabernacle in Atlanta, Georgia for Homeless Pimps Birthday Show. February 26th, rescheduled date, the Borgata in Atlantic City. March 4th, Royal Oak, Michigan in Detroit. March 5th, Cleveland, Ohio at the Agora Theater. March 11th, co-headlining with Sal Volcano at the Ryman Auditorium in Nashville, Tennessee. Go to chrisdcomedy.com for Tiki Wikis right now. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Chrissy Chaos Podcast. I'm not explaining why I'm dressed like this. This is just the new me. You're going to have to deal with it. Ever since I started wearing bracelets, I'm a changed man. I got T.T. Jerry's on, my guest, and he's wearing Jasmine's coat. What's up, baby? All right. How's everybody doing? The greatest of all time, T.T. Jerry. Yes, yes. T.T. Jerry's the greatest of all time. Now, what happened? You got a colonoscopy? Yes, I, I, oh my God. I went to the doctor's right the other day. Okay. And they were going to check me for colonoscopy. That's how you call it? Colonoscopy, yeah. yes. So he had to stick something up, up my butt. So he said, we're going to have to give you an IV through your IV to put you to sleep because that's how we do it. Right. And he came with something about this long. And when I seen that, it was kind of thin. It was real, a little stick. It's like, it's like a camera okay. they put up to there. And he goes, well, we're going to give you an IV to put you to sleep right now. And I said, oh, 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 wait a minute, doc. No, 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 no. You're going to stick that up my ass and you're going to put me to sleep? Ain't no way you're going to put me to sleep. I want to feel that shit. As a matter of fact, you ain't got a bigger one and a thicker one? Because I see that shit is too skinny. What the fuck? And he started dying laughing. Yeah, Damn. he started dying laughing. Oh my God! So what's going so on, wait, Chris? So, 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 but, but, wait, wait no, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome yeah. to the Chrissy Chaos Podcast. <laughs> Hello. Uh, <laughs> wait a second. So, are you okay though? What's the colonoscopy results? No, it's good. Normal. Normal. Yeah. It's I, normal. I got. I had to get a colonoscopy five years ago. You did. I, you got I, one. Done? I had to get one five years ago because they weren't sure what was going on. Everything turned out to be fine, but you have to have someone drive you there, or yeah. you have to have someone go with yeah, you. Yeah, because so, after that you feel like you all messed up. So the only person that could go with me was Jasmine, and <laughs> then they said the doctor said you have to leave all your all your possessions yeah. with her. She needs to give her thing. And I said, I'm not giving her my phone. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's one thing you ain't gonna let yeah, go. And she was like, and he was like, you need to give her your phone. I was like, I'd rather stick this phone up my ass and you find it in the colonoscopy than her have it. And he was like, okay. He goes, here, we'll have one of the nurses hold it. I was like, okay. Because And when I woke up, when I woke up, that's the first thing that happened. When I woke up, she was the first person I saw. She was like, how do you feel? Do you feel okay? I was like, yeah, I'm okay. Yeah, where's my phone? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I said. I was like, where's my phone? And she was like, relax. Why do you want to have your phone? Relax. I was like, because. Um, but yeah. So you have to, he, yeah, but he did put me to say, I said, well, what the fuck? Did you have to eat that food? Shit. Did you have to eat that, drink that drink that yeah, makes you shit drink, for, like uh, for and it, the, Yeah, the whole day. Like, you can't eat nothing after 12 o'clock, I think it is. Or and you like was that. just, it was crazy, right? No, it wasn't crazy. It was, it was good. It was you going up my ass. What the fuck? I know. <laughs> I need I need to start drinking that colonoscopy juice to, to lose a couple of pounds. <laughs> Baby. This is kind of crazy. Martin Short yeah. and them would have colonoscopy parties. Okay, so oh. Martin Short, um, famous actor Martin Short, said that they would call it colonoscopy eve in Canada. They go through the process of avoiding solid foods, consuming liquids, and clearing their bowels to get ready. And it's catered, Martin said. There's jello. You know, there's not much you can eat. You have to purge all day, and then we toast. So they would do it just to have fun. Wow, that's crazy. You know what I want to try? <laughs> TT doesn't care. You know what I want to try? I want to try a gerbil. How you call it? Like a hamster? A gerbil? Is it a gerbil? Gerbil up my ass. Why do you want to try that? I don't know, because people say it, it feels good. I, I, I know this girl that used to stick a gerbil up her ass. This girl used to stick the gerbil up yeah, her ass? Yeah, she used to put her legs up in the air and she used to stick it up her ass. There you go. Like she, saw, like she would show you guys? Yeah. Wow. This girl that I used to hang out with years ago. Where'd you meet her? But I say, yo, but that shit is going to go all the way up, up, up in your belly and everything. She goes, no, they don't go that far. And she threw it right back out. It came right back out. Really? That shit, yeah, that shit was crazy, though. But it, Wow, that's very, But very that shit has teeth or anything. How could they pull those shits up their ass? I like, don't know. That shit is crazy, though. That shit is you crazy. You ever met somebody? No, I don't, I don't understand how you even lure it into your ass. Yeah. You just put it, how do you get it in there? She pushed it right into you her ass. It. And she was yeah. holding on to the tail, though. That little, that tail, it had a tail. Okay. The gerbils have tails? That, that was I a think gerbil. gerbils have oh, oh, that was a hamster. That's I don't know what the right fuck there. was. That's it right. Yeah. I'll tell you what, this She was holding the tail, and then she, she put it right in there, and then she pulled it back out. This gerbil isn't getting through these skinny jeans. I'm starting to wear skinny jeans now. 
What do you think oh, of that? That shit is sexy on a man. You like that? Yeah, I like skinny jeans on a man. I like when a man wears skinny jeans. They mm-hmm. look so fucking sexy, especially their butt shows more and everything. Yeah. TT, the yeah. countdown has begun. One month until you are free, baby. No more parole. Let's hope. Let's hope. Because she said, by March, you should be off parole. But it's also up to Albany. But she says that I, on her part, she I've been doing so good, clean urines. I've been doing my curfew right. Every time she comes and visits me, I'm always home. How about blah, this? Blah, blah. You ready for this? What? You're going to come with us March 25th to Las Vegas. When I'm going to be at the Wynn yeah. in Las Vegas. Titi's going to come for your parole gift. Guess who we're going to get you? A gerbil. Oh. <laughs> All right, bet. If you get me a gerbil, I'm going to stick it up my ass right on the camera. On you got to film me. You got to film me if here. You do and not- I'm going to put that gerbil right up my ass. If you do not buy right, tickets March right. 25th for the win Las Vegas, see TT huh. Jerry put a gerbil up her ass. What are you even doing? <laughs> um, babe, listen. So here's the thing, okay? Is, is we are... We're happy that, you, you know, you're going to be off parole and all that stuff. But now the question is, is do you want to move in with us? Me and Jazz were discussing, do you want to move in with us? Do you want to move in because I'm moving out? I was just kidding. Okay. <laughs> that, was, that, that hit me a little bit. <laughs> I was kidding. I'm not moving out. No. <laughs> TT's I mean, like, what? No. No. no do you want to move in? No, I got my own apartment. Just stay I, with I, us, Poppy. I like to have my privacy and my apartment. I don't have an apartment here. Yes, you do. The guest room. Yeah, the guest room, but yeah. Why don't you make this your apartment? Why don't you make the sunroom your apartment? No, I can't make this. My oh, by the way, this is now called the goddess room. This is called oh. the god. We've we've recha- We've renamed this to the goddess room. Well, I'm looking for another apartment. I started looking for another oh, apartment. Really? Where, where do you want to live? I, I I want something like with a balcony. With a like balcony? A high building, like that has a balcony. Yeah, I want to What do you want to like do in the balcony? Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> let, that hit, let that air hit my butthole while I'm Listen, fucking sucking like, a what cock. What are you doing for Valentine's Day? Uh, for Valentine's Day, I don't have no Valentine's. I don't, I don't have nobody. So guess what I'm doing I for Valentine's Day? I guess I'll spend it with you guys. You want to come with us? I'm taking Jasmine to the Knicks game. Oh, the next game? <laughs> I got Knicks tickets. Oh, that's great. That, that's she, cool. she, I mean, what else are we going to do? Are you available I mean, actually, Valentine's what Day? What are you watch doing for Valentine's Day? Uh, no, I'll watch the kids for Valentine's Day. Oh, that, great. That'll be my Valentine's. My, pro, my precious little angels. Yes. That'll be my Valentine's. Yeah. First of all, that coat is amazing, right? It's How amazing. great is that coat? It's, it's amazing. Yeah, it's okay. I want to take TT you out know? to like a nice steakhouse. Okay. Want to do that with TT? No, yeah. I spent New Year's with my angels, and I, and I had a great time. I had a beautiful time. So uh, why not spend Valentine's with them? Give my heart to them. Ah, uh, mi corazón. Yeah, mi corazón. Ah, uh, TT. Yeah, of course, and I have fun with them. We'll make little heart shapes. We'll play. Now, yeah. TT, you've been they working here. You've been working. You want, TT is now our full time, well, part time nanny. How do no. you like? How do you like so far? The first. This is your first day of work. You're fr- on your first day of work today at, at the house. So far, what have you done? We've cleaned the house, take care of the I baby, mean, doing normal, a podcast. It's normal for me because it's it don't see no difference because every time I come here, I, I'm doing always so with much the kids, work. play with the kids, always feed the baby. Always, you know, if I had to change it while you was here, I'd change it because you was busy. And so it, it's like... You know, it's always been like that to me. Now, I saw you when we, when I looked outside tell you the podcast was starting. You were cleaning your car with a bottle of Windex. What's in that bottle? <laughs> no, that was water. water. I just had a little bit of Windex in it. Because if it, it's, it's snow and ice here in New York, so everybody's car is full of salt. Damn, you know that I went to take my car for a car wash, and the sign said $9.95 or $9.99. So I thought it was $10 for a car wash. So after they finished with my car wash, it was $29. I said, what? $29 for a fucking car wash? Damn. They went up that That's high? Wild. Yeah, I don't understand it. Why a car wash is good for a car? I don't get it. What do you mean? Because well, like, you want to wash the car. Yeah, but what's the... I don't really understand the point. Well, because because if it gets too for dirty... For $30, I don't get the no, point. No, but you can't see out of the windows. How do yeah, you wash your car? It's just soap and water. I mean, I, I usually just wait for a terrain. I'm not going to give them $30. I mean, so I you like never doing- wash your car? 
It's no. 11 grand. It's a shit car. What do I care? Wow. <laughs> yeah, but you don't always want to r- run around with a dirty car. You know, you always, you know, try to keep it clean. He doesn't care. I, I know. He I don't care. Know. As long as you get. $30? What are you yeah. paying $30 for? Yeah. Now, TT, here's the other good news. Okay. The first weekend of April, we haven't confirmed the venue yet, but we have confirmed we're doing it. We're going to do my comedy special on YouTube in Puerto Rico. Yes. San Juan. And on, so, so keep the on, first weekend of April. Open, okay? Everybody keep it open, April 1st what and 2nd. What you mean on YouTube? Um, um, I'm going to make it do a stand-up special, and I'm going to put it on YouTube. I'm not oh. going to put it on a television network or anything. I'm just going to put it on YouTube. I'm going to give it to the fans for free. Oh, oh, oh okay, okay. Yeah, and That's then what we were thinking, at patreon.com slash Christy Comedy, we will continue T.T. Jerry's bucket list because you've never been to Puerto Rico. No. So we're going to take you That's to Puerto Rico. That's bucket list. Patreon. I haven't been nowhere since you took me to Fort Lauderdale, down Florida. That was my first time Well, we're going to go to Vegas. That was my first time ever. I mean, I've been upstate, like I said before. I've been upstate and handcuffed and shackled. That's about it. Well, I traveled to Canada, um, Pennsylvania. So what do you want to do in Puerto all Rico? All up in the mountains. Yeah, what, what, what's, what's a couple Rico? of things you'd like to do in Puerto Rico? What do you want us to have set up for you? Puerto Rico? I would like to go visit where my mom grew up. Where your mom grew up? Do you know yeah. what town that is? Yes. Is I it Arecibo? No, that's in Villalba. I think that's next to um, um, Ponce. Ponce. Okay. Yes, so San Juan. Okay, so, so we're going to go. We're going to go mean, to. I mean, if we could, we could. If not, you know, I'll leave it for another day. After I'm off for all, then I know I could travel by myself. So I just go to the island and visit. No, where but we're going to take born. you. We're going to take you there. We're going to take you there, Puerto Rico. And, um, I want to show you everything. I want to yeah. get into, I want to have a cock fight in Puerto Rico. <laughs> oh like a real I, cock fight. I have fight. so many of those. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> and I let them win, too. Smack the shit out of it. I give it with a fucking cock song. We're, I, we're, I, I lose. I lose in a cock fight. <laughs> really? <laughs> Hell I, yeah. Why well, get it smacked that. with all them cocks? Uh, <laughs> oh my, could you imagine? It's, it's just it's just, <laughs> it's just roosters with razors on their claws. No, and now that we talk about cock. When I was in prison, right? I was in a cell, so I was with this guy, and he was fucking the shit out of me. And I'm like, oh my God, yeah, puppy. Oh yeah, I feel so good. Oh my God, all this and that. So when he was done, I, I turned around. And I said, all right, now, motherfucker, turn over. It's my turn. <laughs> He was what? I'm out of here, boom! And he jetted out the cell. <laughs> I was real feminine, I'm like oh, Bobby, yeah. And then I come out and say, "All right, motherfucker, it's my turn now." That's Is that great. how it works? If, if you receive, does that how it works usually? Like you both gotta let each other fuck each other? No, cause no, cause you could play the role as a woman. Like me, I, in prison, I always used to play the role as a girl. So you never did I it in guys' never, butts? Yeah, 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 I but did, because, you know... Sometimes you got to just yeah, get off. Yeah. When was yeah. the last time you hooked up with a girl? Oh, my God, what well, about... 98? 40 years ago? No, about 30 years ago. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. You would never do it again? Um, No. I'll probably eat her out, but... Uh, <laughs> you won't kiss them? I won't. <laughs> no, I, no, I'll probably eat a girl out, but a guy got to be there with me. Got it. Got okay. It. Interesting Got rules. Be. While I'm eating her out, he's banging me. Mm. Oh, it's a you train. It's a rent yeah, train. So I like that. <laughs> and I'll be licking her I and be behind that, me and, and doing wow. me. That's I the only that. way. But me with a girl, just me and a girl, I, I wouldn't get hard or nothing. I wouldn't be just. Listen, like, you live in the fog. Free yeah, opening game. What the fuck? TT, how about this? We got a road rage shooting that was caught on camera in Florida. This guy pulled out a gun. And shot somebody. Look at this. I Ro- see. Is this this is Bro, real? Yeah, who did he shoot? Where did he get this he, video? He got mad. I think it's his video. He just took out the gun just to shoot anybody. What, did he post this? No, I think he got mad at somebody that cut him off or something. Oh, so he's waiting for him to pass him by. That's what I, I can believe. see. That's yeah, why. Yeah, yeah, he's waiting. There he goes. Yeah. Wow. Oh, crazy is that, dude. So he waited for the guy to yeah. pass him, then shot That's him. That's why you can never freak out. No, yeah. I never. I, I don't. It's, I don't. I don't ever, ever, ever have a road rage incident. Never. He, Ain't that ain't that sad? What happened to um Char, um Carly Carly um um Chris? That thirty year old girl. She was a lawyer, Miss USA. Do you know? Oh my gosh, she committed suicide. I that, know. That's really sad. Do you know that I went on and, a date with her? No, you didn't. When me and Vinny were split up, yes. Don't tell you, Vinny. But I went on a date real? with her. Yeah. 
Yeah, one Don't day. Don't tell Vinny. Vinny's going to look at this while we record. She was a night. She was a night. No, no, but it wasn't. Uh, me and Vinny were not together. We were separated. And I went on one day with her. She was such a nice girl. She was mad yeah, religious. Yeah, and she was so beautiful. And she was she, beautiful, She was yeah. a lawyer. And wh what else she was? She was, her, she was just a beautiful but girl. But I don't understand. They say that because of the media, yeah, that's I why she committed online suicide. Online trolls and stuff. I, I don't believe it. I don't believe it was because of the media. Because you know, so oh, many people that have done so many foul shit in the media, and they don't commit suicide. I believe Probably she had something to do with like love affair no. or, or some kind of problem well, she had. This, 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 is, this is that? This is what she Tragic suicide from? of ex Miss USA again shows corrosive influence of social media. This happened last week and this is... This is one of those things where, like, yeah, when people say stuff to people say stuff on online, it, it, it hurts. But the thing is, is I think if you're being affected by, it, you have to just delete your social media. You have to just. So I think we're seeing what social right. media. I think social media is like cigarettes. You're seeing like right now we're not understanding the damage that it's doing to you long term. But I think like when my daughter grows up, there'll be less and less social media. But my daughter's who girl. would want to say some foul shit to her? I mean, she was a beautiful girl. She's, people want to say she's it. She's a good girl. She was a working girl. She was exactly, a lawyer. Exactly, but that's why people want to say foul shit to her, because they want to make I themselves mean, feel better. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. All these it's fucking horrible. haters out there, they don't got nothing else to do but start hating on people and everything. I mean, get alive, my, my dudes or, or, or girls. You know, get alive. Let get people alive. live. You know, speak. I know it's it's sad thing. Um, speaking of life, what I'm gonna do now, and we're starting on Sunday. Sunday at 1 p.m. We're doing daddy and daughter. I'm doing daddy and daughter jujitsu classes with Delilah, my six year old. Oh. I need her to know. I I I want at six years old. I want her to start learning jujitsu and how to handle herself now. God forbid she's in a situation with a man in college or whatever that she True. needs to defend herself. So I want, but I also I'm going to learn jujitsu too. So I'm going to be literally taking jujitsu. Jitsu with my six-year-old, and we're both. Uh, and the goal is is to both to see who can get their belts the quickest. So I want to get I want to get advanced through quicker than her. Um, well, they, 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 well, Theo's still gonna be around when she be big. If I'm not dead yet, no, you're not. I'll gonna be, be dead. walking around with my cane and shit. <laughs> Look I'll at this knock guy. Anybody out who try to hurt my little princess? What? Do you, you ever see this guy? He jumped nine stories on top of a car and survived. Oh uh, yeah, he survived. That's what Pimp was telling me. That How shit crazy is, is that? crazy. How could he survive? He went and right through the fucking car and he survived. Yeah, he Look doesn't at him. know what happened. He said he doesn't know what happened. Nine stories high. You think he was on crystal meth or something like he that? He must have been high on dust or something. The mafia, I don't know. The mafia threw him out the window. They just if you threw were sitting him right in your out car, the fucking car, car, you would have been killed. Chaz is no, cold. you would have been killed. Yeah, I, I would have been sitting killed. on the car. Oh, yeah. I would have been texting, so my neck would have just snapped <laughs> off. But you ever have that thought when you walk around the city, like, by chance, I could just be walking and someone dropped a wrench off this fucking... Yeah, didn't you say... You said Chaz told you a story once about that? Uh, no, about uh, a guy being thrown out of a building in, in Brooklyn... Um, but he luckily, it was the garbage strike, so he hit all the garbage bags and survived. Wow. Don't you know <laughs> that if you take a penny, like, from the Empire State Building, and you <laughs> throw it, and it lands in somebody's head, it'll go right through. Yeah. Interesting. But you better, you know, so you, you know better not. It could go right through your scalp. TT. Do not. I'm saying do, that's what they said. That's what I. Well, heard. let's I see. Tried it, let's see what your new opponent. I will believe do. it will. I don't know. We're gonna throw a penny off your balcony, <laughs> and we're gonna see. Throw the penny off the balcony. <laughs> It'll go right in my piggy bank. Right in your Bing. piggy. Bing. <laughs> um, Tom Brady. This happened last week. Tom Brady officially announced he's retiring. What do you think? Do you know? Do you oh, know about football, football sports? Player. Do you know about sports, or you don't really um, care? I'm really not into. The only thing, time I watch sports is like the Super Bowl at the end. Right. That's, that's the only time I watch sports. This like Sunday, baseball, the World Series. The Super well, Bowl is this Sunday. Time. What's your favorite I know. part of the Super Bowl? The, I like the Miami Dolphins. Miami Dolphins are your favorite team. So is Pat Finnegan, yep. Patty Fly Balls. Look at that. I like the yes. quarterback of Miami Dolphins. Dan Marino, the old guy? That's, yeah, that's the quarterback. He was the quarterback like 25 years ago, yeah. But you yeah. like I could see TT liking the Miami Dolphins. That's your speed. I would yeah. think the most, I would say in the NFL, the, the fan with the biggest gay fan base is probably the Miami Dolphins. Yeah. If I had to guess, can we Google who's got the biggest gay fan base in the NFL? I would think it's the Miami Dolphins or so? could be the, the uh, Las Vegas Raiders because they have a gay player on their team. Um, how gay is your NFL franchise? Wow, yeah. Bengals fans most got the most LBGTQ support. Interesting. Okay, so they're saying the Green Bay Packers are the gayest team. Oh, because of the name, the Packers. Yeah. Mm. 
Got it. Okay. Chicago Bears. Bears are gay. Chicago Got Bears. it. Cleveland Browns. Uh, okay. So it's all based off the names. Oh. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I think. Uh, I mean, they got gay people in every kind of sports. And every well, there's sport only one gay openly people. gay person. His name is Carl that, Nassib. That that's in the NFL. But you think there's that, more undercover gay men in the NFL? Of course there is. 100% undercover gays, other. right? You think they'd be banging each other and looking at their cocks in the locker room and all mm-hmm. that? Of course they do. You think anybody played a whole NFL game with a cock ring on? Um, yeah. Have you ever put a cock ring on? No, never. Me neither. Never. I don't even know what it would do. Yeah, let's find never. Out My friend who's a why, cop. I've seen guys put it on, but what does that do to you? Yo, your... my friend who's a cop, um, uh, it's a true story, what? a couple of weeks ago, said that he went to a call, and at the call, they, were, the, they got there, and it was a dead body, and it was a guy, he had tidy whities pulled down around his ankles, and he had a cock ring at the base of his cock, and he was blasting anime porn. <laughs> I think that's yeah. so gross. I don't like what seeing a, 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 a guy with a cock ring. I Why know. not? They put it right between, on their balls all the way down. Look, here like you go. The, Wait, keep talking. I just got a piece somewhere. You pee? And, um, <laughs> yeah, I don't like guys like that with, with cock rings. How many guys do you know with cock rings? I met, I met few of them. I met few of them. Even in prison, when I was in prison, they used to make them. Guys used to make oh rings and put them on their balls. You know, I used to see them. They used to show them to me and everything. Homemade cock. They yeah, make anything homemade, in prison. Yeah, right? they do. do they used to. They used to do even do fifi bags. Fifi bags. A fifi, you know what's a fifi no. bag? A fifi bag is they they take plastic, and they take a lot of plastic. They put they take like something round, and they put a lot of plastic on it, and they make like a little hole. Okay. And they put rubber bands and they just fuck that thing. It's called oh, a fifi bag. A fifi bag. And they put it on their mattress and they fuck it. So it feels <laughs> like they f- they put grease on it and it feels like they're fucking a, a, a oh virgin God. or a hoe or something. They, 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 Do you think we should make those and sell it to the fans? Yeah, we should make fifi bags <laughs> and sell them to guys in prison, put them on the market. Fifi bags. Believe me, they will buy them too. Really? Do you still talk to anyone from the prison? Yeah, I'm yeah. dating somebody from prison. That oh, he should be coming wow. out this year. Wow, we have yeah. him on the pod. Yeah, he said he don't care. He'll come on the pod and talk so, about prison and can all you, that. Can you tell us any information? How did you guys meet? I mean, we met, I was in the gym working out all the time. I used to go to the gym and do a lot of squats. I used to be driving them guys crazy. I bet. Doing squats and everything. And one day he was jogging around the gym and I started staring at him and I noticed when he was running that his shit was getting hard. So I said, I got this motherfucker. I got him. He got hard at, at you looking at him. While yeah. He was yeah. Was it a plan of fitness? This is his new, uh, her boyfriend no, from prison. Some guy ah. that I met in prison. Okay. That, that's how I know, too, how guys want, you know, they want to get with me or, or I turn them on or something. Because every time I look at them or they look at me, they're always getting a hard on. Oh. Or they let the shit show through their pants and oh. shit like that. So what, what attracted you to him? Why were you his staring at him? slice on his face. That's what attracted me You like me that? You him. like a man with a scar? I like a, a woman scar. with a scar. You, you do? do like a woman you with do? a scar. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think that they look so sexy. I don't know. That that that's what first thing that attract me about him. The scar on his face. What about a man with a mole? With a mole where? I don't know. Just Anywhere, right. What, what, what no. a mole? You like a moley guy? <laughs> I had a guy that had a mole on his cheek. On his cheek. On his ass cheek. Yeah, but he put a, a little string on it. He left it there like for a week and it fell off. Really? I, told him I didn't like that mole on his. It so was sticking a- out. So he took a string of dental floss and he tied it real tight around and by the week it fell off. Oh, wow. wow, so you yeah. you had a lot of power over your prison boyfriends. Yeah. Then because he would just remove the mole with the dental floss. Well they're <laughs> currently dating. We were getting yeah. the backstory on someone she's currently dating. Oh good. Can no, we meet but him? the one that he's I coming date, on the pod. Yeah, is he, he what, what, is he out? come to the pod. He said he's not afraid if anybody sees him on, on is, TV is he out or of whatever. jail? No, he comes out this year. And he Great. Could tell, we could talk about a lot of stuff that we did in prison together. Nice. And then we used to hide, though. We used to be very sneaky from everybody. Because he yeah. had a wife and kids? Not because he had a wife and kids. Not because only of that, but the surrounding in prison that he used to hang out with other right. dudes. So he would have had problems if he would have get caught messing with a transgender. Oh, it's like Romeo uh, and know? Juliet. He could have get caught again or whatever. Oh, anything, speaking of that, you know what I want to ask you? There's a big... Do, we never talked to him about the University of Pennsylvania swimming. 
What girl. do you mean? Oh, yeah. There's a girl, yeah, yeah, yeah. there's a transgender uh, a boy that transitioned to a woman oh, yeah. and is swimming on the women's swim team and is breaking all these records. Did he get the surgery done? Does I think he has, he has a, the, a vagina now? He has the full surgery. I believe he did everything? He has the surgery, but the whole thing is, it's see, sparking a lot of controversy. Leah Thomas, I believe. Leah Thomas. He still looks like a dude, though. His but face. do you think it's she should be competing for the women's team? I mean, why not? If he did the whole surgery and everything, why not? Yeah, he considered himself as a female, and they got to respect that. I believe that they should allow people that they get trans, they get a sex change, and they become a woman. I believe they should let them be in the U.S. pageant, Miss Universe pageant. Right, no, and that, that, that I, I, I agree with that. I agree with that 100%. Beauty, beauty, all that. But I'm saying something like a game where, like, he was born a man. He's breaking the records. He's beating all the other women on the other team. Oh, no, I don't think that's fair, though, because that's he's, not fair. More, he, he's still a dude, and he could do more and faster and do more things that a woman can do. So it's like he's still competing with other females. I believe he's still competing, even though he's a, he's a full woman now. But he's right. still got the strength and the power and everything he has to do. All right. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp. If you're a real nutbag like me, then you know that times you need to work on your mental health. You need to talk to someone. I've been using BetterHelp. Um, it's literally, uh, you know, I speak to a, a, a counselor once a week. Um, they, it's not a crisis line. Okay. It's not self-help. It's professional counseling done securely online. And there's a broad range of expertise available, which may not be local, locally available in many areas. I mean, I speak to my therapist about, you know, struggling to think if I'm gay or not, or do I go trans? When do I do it? Do I wait till my daughters are 18? What do I do? When do I cut it off? And my, my counselor really helps me with that. Um, it's more affordable than traditional offline counseling and financial aid is available, which I like. I like that they're not just trying to bang you over the head. They're saying, no, 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 no. We understand if, you know, you may not be at a place where you can afford it all right now. So they get financial aid, which I love. So if you go right now to betterhelp.com slash chaos, that's help, H-E-L-P, betterhelp.com slash chaos, you're going to get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash chaos. I love it. You know, it's it's really like truthfully something that's helped me immensely. So I can't advocate for it enough. Betterhelp.com slash chaos. Get 10% off your first month. My favorite words in the English language are America's number one meal kit. Yes. Hello, Fresh. I love it. I've been using it. I've been cooking. Nobody cooks anymore but me, okay? Sometimes T.T. Jerry comes in there and throws a little adobo in my shit, but I love HelloFresh. HelloFresh has fit and wholesome recipes for satisfying and nutritious meals that you can feel good about with six rec recipes per week to choose from, including low-calorie low, uh, and low-carb options, okay? 20-minute recipes, 20-minute meals, okay? It's literally, you can feed your whole freaking family in 20 minutes with good, nutritious, beautiful food, and it's it's cheaper than going to a restaurant and the supermarket. You save $65 per month when you order HelloFresh instead of grocery shopping. That's money back in your pocket, bitch. So if you go to HelloFresh.com slash chaos16 and use the code chaos16, you're going to get 16 free meals plus three free gifts. HelloFresh.com slash chaos16. Use the code chaos16. 16 free meals plus three free gifts. I'm telling you. Go do it now. America's number one meal kit. It seems it seems a little um like uh crazy that that this is even a debate. Like I'm all for and transgender and everything. Well, they're, 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 there's a big problem with the NC. The, uh, the people from the schools are like this isn't fair. Right. She was he's he's breaking every she's breaking every record every, yeah. that every woman ever set in history because she's a man. Right. Because you he's know? a man. Well, she was born right. a man. She's transitioned into yeah. a woman. So. So that's the thing. At that point, I don't believe it's fair, though. Right. I, 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 I don't believe it's So what do you think should be right. done? What do you think the solution is? I think he shouldn't be able to compete with other women. But she could. She should be able to be Miss America if she wants to. Yeah, that and things like that. Yeah. Do you think because we're living in a time where the Miss America will be transgendered? I, I think um, we're living in a time where the first female president will be transgender. Nice. You think so? Interesting. Imagine it's Trump. That's how he gets back in. <laughs> That's this transgender. That's this transgender. I think I seen it. And she works in the in the White House, and she's a transgender. It's an old lady now.
He's yeah, an old she, person. Yeah, and he's she, a transgender. Isn't she like the one of the what's top? Her, um, what's her name? Uh, she's yeah, a right old there, lady. Right there, yeah, the she's right. a transgender. Yes, yeah. this, this this woman, um, Rachel Levine, transgender. Secret. She's the Secretary of Health, and she's transgendered. Yeah, there you go. She's transgender. Dr. Rachel Levine, Secretary of Health. Um, yeah, see, see, I, I don't have a problem with any of this stuff, but it's just when it comes to sports, it's just, it just, it creates this unfair yeah, I competitive think sports, advantage. Sports, when it comes to sports, I don't think it's fair. I Not think there fair. should be some kind of rule. No. If you start setting records, you have to go to the men's. Yeah, you have to go to the yeah. men's. Now, do you, well, you're wearing an engagement ring. Have we spoken about the engagement yeah, ring? Yeah, we've spoken about this, that I marry myself. Oh, okay, yes. got it. Okay, okay. Yeah. I just want to make sure that you That's didn't get married. the best thing you could do. Like last time I said, the best thing you could do, marry yourself, no commitment, no problem. You date who the hell you want to date. Marry yourself free. or someone with a lot of money. I mean, the person don't have got to have a lot of money. Just it'd be, be nice though. Good to me. Oh, I mean, money is good because it could get you everywhere. You could do a lot of things with money, but money is is really yeah. not happiness. It really is not happiness to be happy. But I want to know more about you your know? your boyfriend. Yeah, I'm interested Which in one? him. Like, I tell us some crazy what's stories his name? you guys got into. What can we call um, him? I'm not going to say his name what can we call on live right yeah, now what, because... Let's, let's, what, what's, what's a good name? Let's call him Shaq. Let's call him Scar. 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 Nice. Okay, okay. Scar. Okay, okay so Scar. Scar. So when did you and Scar yeah. meet? What year? I think I showed you a picture of him. Did you? Yeah. Should oh we guess boy. what you did? What year do you I think they met? I think Scar and, there, I think Scar and J-Lo known. met. He was going to be a rapper... He had a lot of connections with rapper. He was going to be a rapper singer. Okay. He homeless Pimp, up. maybe Homeless Pimp filmed him at his shows. But Never he's going to come out and he's going to continue his rapping. Oh, good. He's going to come out. He's going to come out. Well, he needs this podcast as a platform to drop beats. As a matter of fact, he can introduce <laughs> me in Puerto Rico. <laughs> We're actually looking for a musical guest. We're looking for a musical guest. We've, we've texted Fat Joe to no response yet. <laughs> I'm doing the comedy special in Puerto Rico the first weekend of April. We, ha we are going to lock down the venue. Make a trip. Come from the U.S. Come to Puerto Rico. It's a getaway. No masks, no vaccine cards, nothing. We're fun. We're free. We're doing the special. We're in the fog. It's going to be great. We're going to call it I Am Poppy. That's going to be the yeah, name of the special. Please come down and be a part of it. Um, also, by the way, um, yeah. you know, Pim, uh, you know, uh, uh, Jerry, yeah. this weekend, I'm going to be in Washington, D.C. at the Warner Theater. And then Saturday is at the Tabernacle in Atlanta, Georgia. And that's Homeless Pimp's birthday show this oh, weekend, yeah. this Friday and Saturday, yes. D.C. and Atlanta. Yeah, we got you want to cut. What are we, we going to do for Homeless Pimp's birthday? What do you want to give to him? I'll give him. I'm, I'm gonna get him something. You're gonna get him something yeah. nice. That's him. Oh wow, he's very handsome, TT. Yeah. He, go ahead, show Chris. That's a beautiful man. There you go. Oh, you did show me this guy yeah. already. Yes, yes. So what That's year did him. you meet Scar? What year did we you meet Scar? We met in two thousand um, two thousand nineteen. Oh, just right when you were getting out of prison, you met in him at 2018. the end. Two thousand eighteen. Yeah, I met him at the end. We were together on the low that like nobody knew like about right. for a whole year. And when was the moment you realized you actually like him? As soon as I seen him. No, no, like once you started getting to know him. Yeah, um, what was it? Does he talk about his mom a lot? Was he soft spoken? No, <laughs> he spoke about us trying to sneak over here, sneak over there, so have what, sex. But and that's all the thing: that. is he just a horn dog, or does he like you for you? No, he liked me for me. He oh, don't that's care. Beautiful, he don't care that I'm a transgender, or whatever. Uh, so you, you guys he had said a he love. wants to come home to me. He already got his divorce. He already put in his wow. divorce. It went wow. through. Wow, all for and you. And everything that he wants to get with me when he comes home. Holy shit. All this and that. So we have spoken. What kind of adventures did you get into in prison with him? A lot, everything. Like, give us an example. What was the crazy... The craziest thing we did in prison? Yeah. Go under the balcony. Where they had balcony where people sit to watch like a basketball game. Okay. While it was going oh, the on. The bleachers. The bleachers. While there was a the okay. game going on of basketball, we were under the bleachers having sex. Wow. wow. Yeah. That's nice. So while while an active basketball game was going on. Yep. There you go. He was nice. putting that the ball in my ring. <laughs> okay. Slam dunk in your ass. A slam dunk. Now, yeah, because because I'm I'm very I would love to sit down and have a meal with this guy because I, I want to know someone who knew you on the inside because yeah. I'm wondering now that you've been out of prison for two yeah. years, do you think you're a different person today What's than today? you were two oh years ago? Oh my god, the twenty six ah, uh, we passed the twenty six in May. January oh no, 26th? Next month, next month. March twenty sixth. 
February 26th. This is February now. Oh, by the, the way. The 26th makes two years. Two years, February 26th. By yeah. the way, I want to say, I'm sorry we didn't do this last week, just the way the schedule worked out. Happy Black History Month, everybody. Uh, yeah, and happy, happy Black, Black History, History Month to Scar. Happy yeah. Black History Month to Scar. Because, um, yeah, and, and, and uh, yeah, black colleges today, seven black colleges today had bomb threats called in. So it's huh. good to see racism's healing in the United States. Wild. Yeah. I, I mean, people are ridiculous. Well, you saw there was a bomb threat on uh, St. Francis Prep in Whites and Queens. Really? Yeah. Who did that? One of the kids going there, like, was bringing bombs. That's Get out of here, for real? Why are bombs getting popular? Bombs are not even a threat anymore. It's like, nobody has a bomb. I don't know, man. Have you ever but seen, like, you can figure out how to make bombs? On YouTube, really? People are nuts. No, you get caught. You get, <laughs> you <laughs> get <laughs> caught doing bonds. You get in time in prison. Here's Only the real thing. Here, you ready yeah. for this? Go to patreoncom slash comedy right now. The next Chris and Eddie show that we're doing, I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna make a bomb throughout the show. And I'm, I'm not gonna, gonna be, be here. Show. Yeah, I'm not how, gonna be here. That's how we should go out and put Magic Spoon's logo on it <laughs> and put <laughs> bombs inside. A magic <laughs> Here's a Magic Spoon box. Okay, There's a so bomb in it. I have another announcement. I'm not going to drink. I'm not going to take a sip of alcohol until my birthday on August 26th. Oh, now that you say about drink, how was Atlantic City? I was I was hammered every night. And I was blackout <laughs> drunk, <laughs> drinking martinis. So Wasted. I am not going to have a drink. I am not going to go get drinks. Uh, I'm not going to have a sip of alcohol until my birthday, August 26th. I'm going to get absolutely smashed. And I'm going to try not to have rigatoni either, but I don't Why? know if I'm going to make it with that. Why? Wow. What's the reason? You're because I need to drink. finally get my, I need to get healthy and get my health back. And I've drank 48 days in a row. I was, I've had no, at least once. For a, real? Yeah, so I got to stop every day. Every day I've been drinking, not wow. till I'm drunk, but every day a little sip of alcohol here, a little sip yeah, of alcohol. Yeah, you always had like a cup of, oh, uh, yeah. It's a lot of sugar. So I can't do that. It's a lot of so, sugar. And it just ble bleeds into, then you don't work out, then next day you don't eat healthy the next day then it just so i'm like i'm gonna get the alcohol out of me Je Vinny's gonna do it too she said she's not gonna drink alcohol to her birthday which is april 17th um and she she said what are we gonna do for my big birthday week and i said i booked the show april 16th at the wall street theater in norwalk connecticut so we're gonna go uh you're gonna come with me nice. to connecticut and she's Amelia's like i hate room. she was like i hate my life um, <laughs> Those tickets are on sale soon. They might be on sale right now at the Wall Street Theater, April sixteenth, um, Norwalk, Connecticut. But but um um, I think for for uh, Vinny's birthday this year, you ready for this? A Vinny's birthday is April seventeenth. It falls on Easter Sunday. Her birthday is when Christ is risen. It's her birthday. Wow! Oh, so it falls on a Sunday. 17th? Sunday, Easter Sunday is her birthday. So yeah. we got to think of something good Holy to do. Shit. What should we do? Should we dress up like bunnies? What should we do? Well, that's a good. That's good. We gotta have dress a sick Easter egg like hunt for the girls this this oh, year, dude. Dude, one time I was I was in for Easter Sunday weekend. I was at um, mm -hmm. I was in an indoor water park, uh, Wolf um, Wolf Street Lot. No, not Wolf. Um, Great Wolf Lodge. I was in Great Wolf Lodge, and they had a whole Easter egg hunt by the pool, and the whole place smelled like feet. <laughs> Delilah brought home like five, and Delilah and Tristan had like ten eggs. They found and they all smelled like feet. It was disgusting. <laughs> Jet, Vin, do you remember that? Do you remember when we went to the uh, uh, Great Wolf Lodge for Easter? Uh, yeah, your birthday's on Easter Sunday this year. So do you want? But I'm, you, well, I'm here. I could stay with the kids. But it's your birthday. It's your birthday. All right, so how about this? You ready for this? I just figured it out. Saturday, we're going to well, do my show at the Wall Street Theater in Norwalk, Connecticut. Sunday, birthday party at Great Wolf Lodge. We're going back. She shut the door. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, we go east, uh, egg hunting. Uh, Jerry, uh, I, love um, the, I, love, I love what the, the coat, the glasses, the earring, the ring. You are, I, I, you, Jerry is P, right? Is TT oh, Jerry P? The definition. The DJ definition. is the definition of P. Now, Pimp, can you explain what P is? Because all yeah. the kids are saying that's P. TT Jerry is P. It's, it's a lyric from a new P? song. It just means like dope. Like you're just like a you're gangster. Dope. You're a gangster. So if you hear people gangster. saying TT, you P, that, they're not saying that you peed your you pants. They're saying you're I dope. Pee? No, I just, I just finished peeing. <laughs> now, TT, want to ask you a history question. What do you know about the Holocaust? <laughs> Holocaust? Yes, yeah, the Holocaust. <laughs> what is the Holocaust? What Whoopi is the Holocaust? Whoopi Goldberg apologized for saying that the Holocaust was, was not, not about, about race. race. Whoopi Goldberg got in trouble for that last week, but what, do, what is the Holocaust? What, what does it mean to you? What is the Holocaust? What does the Holocaust mean to you? What is the Holocaust? What is it? Do you yeah, know what the Holocaust is? Let's no. look it up. Okay, so the Holocaust was um, in, in World War II, the uh, uh, Nazis killed 6 million Jews okay. in Europe. They killed them, uh, you know, 
euthanized them, killed them, put them in ovens and shot them and just yeah, and chop them up and was a that, genocide of the Jewish people. So, and, and, and Whoopi Goldberg said that it's not about race. What did she say it's about, though, if it's not about race? I don't know. Let's find out what like, she what said. Like, what could it be about? I, I didn't fucking, understand what the Like, like the ozone layer? What is she talking about? How is it? It's, yeah. Is Whoopi Goldberg Jewish? By the way, I've never thought of this. Maybe no. she is. Who Didn't knows? she go out with the guy from Cheers? Let's see. Oh, ads. Kayaking. I want to go kayaking with you. Never I've never, I've never been, been kayaking. You've never I done think that before? No, you've done. You've done no. went kayaking? No. I know. You're like, oh, you know. Wow, oh, that would honey. suck. No, that's crazy going down through that motherfucking shit. You think you die on that? Hell yeah, you will. Yes. You're dead. Your life is through. You're, You're done. Dead. You know people no. put themselves in barrels and roll down Niagara Falls? No, they don't. Do yes, I don't they do. think like nobody ever survived. I, nobody ever survived that Niagara Falls. No, go, yes. Go, here, let, let's listen to okay. what Don fucking Lemonhead says. What? Joy Behar's Jewish. But it's about race. I didn't know Whoopi Goldberg had a tattoo on her tip. I have to get on the view. <laughs> Chrissy Daytimes has to get on the view. <laughs> so you think it's about race? Yes, it's about race. It's about race. Yeah. Hitler specifically right. said, I want to kill all the Jewish yeah. people. So it is about race. It's about race. I mean, she was bought that that like bombed in there, right? Like people Ooh. were like, "You're bad." Did you watch the whole segment? Yeah, about Hitler. Like, like when I used to be in around my neighborhood. I used oh my god, T T. Yeah, I know. Hey, my baby, I love Nick Cannon. You like oh Nick? God. I did his show I, last I, week. I know. I Why heard. don't you come with me? I, oh my god, I've been in love with that guy ever since I first seen them. Nick you, Cannon yeah, since Nick on Wild Cannon. and Out. Yep. Or, no, no, before first, that. What's what's your first see on that movie about the band? What was that? What was that? Why would that line? movie? Drumline. Yeah, he did a movie um, yeah. when he was real young. I think it's Drumline. No, there was another one he did. Okay, let's see. Yeah, what is Nick Cannon's first movie? And also then um, Google people uh, going uh, in America, down Niagara Falls. I think it's something. To, it says America. Um, um, Love Don't Cost a Thing in 2003 with Christina M Milan. Oh, no. D Drumline is 2002. <laughs> what was his first He's been movie? in a bunch of shit, Nick Cannon. All American? Is, was it All American, I think? Love Don't Cost a Thing. Nick Cannon's career began. Um, oh, Nick Cannon had a, had a group, a rap group called the G4 Dope Bomb Squad, and they opened for Will Smith, LFO, 98 Degrees, oh, and Montel wow. Jordan. Wow, the G4 Dope Bomb Squad. Interesting. Interesting. Very, very, I, very interesting. I remember him from Nickelodeon. Right. Right. So where, but where did Nick Cannon's career start? I want, I want to see this. Where did it start? It started being the opening Listen. act. 2001 Jive Records. Huh. How old is he now? He just turned 50? No. He Nick Cannon, no, he's, he's, he's 40. Barely 40. He's 40 years old now? 41. 41. He's 41. 41. Well, I went to Howard University. He's Shout out to Howard University. You. That's like they say that's uh, like the most prestigious uh, uh, black school. Is black okay to say anymore? Should we not say black during what Black History Month? What does black school mean? What do you mean? Like black the, the uh, tr uh, historically color. black colleges, HBBCs. Historically black college like Howard University, Grambling University. Oh. Uh, I think it's Georgia State. They're called HBBCs, historically black colleges. It's like a real thing. So when they say um, um, color people, they mean black people? No, yeah. You should, I don't think you could say Who colored. Who the hell says no. that? I don't think Who you say that? colored, TT. You better not say scar is colored. I have seen people say color people, and they're referring to black people. Yeah, but you're not supposed to say colored. Oh, I don't know what to say. What are you, what are you even talking about? What are you supposed to say? Why? <laughs> yeah, why? what the hell are we talking about? <laughs> we just, just came out of that nowhere. I love, I love black people. <laughs> uh, He's yeah. just burying himself. Uh, I love black people and I love Black History Month. It's my favorite month. I wish I was born during Black History Month. Magic Spoon, I love it. You know I love it. I eat it all the time. Homeless Pimp had it for breakfast this morning and that's why I, I was pissed off all day because he ate the last bit of my Magic Spoon. But... 
I went to magicspoon.com slash chaos. I ordered more and I got $5 off my orders. Uh, even I, I use my own promo code, okay? Magicspoon.com slash chaos, promo code chaos, $5 off your order. It is Magic Spoon, if you don't know what it is, and if you don't know what it is, it's like get out of this country. But Magic Spoon, it is only 140 calories per serving. It's a cereal. Only 140 calories a serving, zero grams of sugar, 13 to 14 grams of protein, and only four net carbs in each serving. It's keto-friendly, gluten-free, grain-free, soy-free, and low-carb full of taste. I love it. I eat it all. The Sometimes I eat it for every meal. Okay. I literally bring it around in a little baggie and I just eat it. I just pop it because it's good, healthy food. And you don't feel the guilt of when you were eating cereals like, you know, that you used to love as a kid. This is all low carb, beautiful shit. They got cocoa, fruity, frosted, peanut butter, blueberry, cinnamon, cookies, and cream, maple waffle. It's awesome. It's the guiltless midnight snack. Magicspoon.com slash chaos. Put in the promo code chaos, $5 off your order. If you know me, you know, I love one thing and one thing only that's balls off my face. And if you're going to, if you're going to bounce your balls off my chin, I want them to smell good and be clean. And the only way I can guarantee that you got a clean nut sack is ballsy, baby. Ballsy is, first of all, ballsy is one of those things where like a lot of people neglect their nuts and you can't do that. You gotta, you gotta clean your sack and scrotum and ballsy is the thing that does it now listen you sh it's a great gift for you it's a great gift for a friend it's a, you know if you're a girlfriend or a wife it's a great gift for your man you want his nuts smelling clean i'm telling you ballsy the sack pack is the ultimate trifecta of products specifically formulated to take care of your most prized possessions listen it, it doesn't matter whether you've got a full bush bald eagle warts it doesn't matter ballsy works for everybody okay 200,000 satisfied customers and a 30-day money-back guarantee. You've got to give Ballsy a try, okay? All the products are made in the USA, so you know it voted for Trump. And I, No, I'm kidding. Cut that part out. <laughs> all, all, all the products, all Ballsy products are made in the USA, so you know, they're, you know they're good people. My sack is feeling fresh as ever. I use it. I use it all the time. So keep the funk off your junk. Right now, if you go to ballwash.com, that's B-A-L-L-W-A-S-H.com slash Chris20 and put in promo code Chris20, you'll receive 20% off. That's 20% off when you go to ballwash.com slash Chris20 and put in promo code Chris20. Sorry for all the ball puns. How about this? The first recorded person who survived going over the falls was school teacher annie edson taylor who in 1901 successfully completed the stunt inside an oak barrel in the following 121 years thousands of people have been swept over the falls but only 16 people have reportedly survived the feat that's crazy to survive so the how fall many people falls. have survived the, only the, 16 the sweet 16. 16 wow that's it why would they do this look at that barrel that's insane. Oh, I, I would not mind set. doing it in a battle like that. <laughs> I can see you doing that. Yeah. Everybody wow. else, yeah, fatality, fatality, survive, fatality. Everybody's dead. Why His body was mangled. Like, you guys ever watch Evil Knievel's stunts? Yeah, Evil Knievel. Oh, my God, he's so old. Why Did he, he die, or Evil Knievel? Is he dead? Is Evil Knievel dead? I don't think, that, I don't think anybody actually knows. Yes, him. he died in 2007. Oh, wow, okay. he's from Butt, Montana. B-U-T-T-E. I want to do a show in Butt, Montana. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Dude, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to look to do shows in Montana, Wyoming, Idaho. I want to oh. do those parts of the country. TT's coming because, oh, my God. You have to. Dude. TT has to come. I, um, yeah, dude, I, I want to do, I want to do all those things. And I, 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 I really, 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 really want to go to Europe and do shows. I think we're going to do that this summer. I really you never, ever did a show up there in Europe. No, I France, did. I went to London, Paris, London, Paris. You I did it in London. Yeah, I, I went to London. You want to yeah. go to London? You did a show in London. I did a show in London. Yeah, it was nice. They don't oh. have Puerto Ricans in London. No, <laughs> no, not many, but they speak Spanish. In London? I mean... They got people that speak Spanish. In they got London, people that speak so. Spanish everywhere. Yeah. Do you think me doing my special in Puerto Rico, this, they're going to understand my jokes or no? They're going to love you in Puerto Rico. You think so? Yeah, they're going to love you. Because especially when you start talking in Spanish, oh my God, you're hilarious. You're so funny. I'm not allowed to look at any of the women, Jasmine said. Oh, please. <laughs> get over it she said i can't she said i can't get over it um, um you'll be all right there was another thing there was a there was a uh another article that i want to talk about pimp it was it was back when um 
we were just talking about. Uh, go, go back, go, go back. You, you just, you just scrolled it. Oh. No, what was it? There was something I'm like, oh, I want, oh, this, The Rock, Joe the Rogan, Rock. Joe Rogan has. So what? This, what's happened is, is Joe Rogan does a big podcast, and a lot of people, a lot of people, um, uh, are saying that now he's giving misinformation about COVID, but he's not. Just doctors are coming on. Doctors are coming on Joe Rogan's show and saying, "Hey, I don't feel the way Dr. Fauci feels. I think about this, whatever." And, he, and, you know, it was a whole big thing. All these famous musicians had to pull their, they wanted to pull the, their content off Spotify because they're like, we don't stand with Joe Rogan, blah, 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 blah. But now The Rock, who's one of the most famous people in the world, said, great stuff here, brother. Perfectly articulated. Look forward to coming on one day and breaking out the tequila with you. Oh, my God. So, all, you know what? That actually makes me feel better that I haven't got it on Joe Rogan, but neither has The Rock. Is Joe, <laughs> Joe, Rogan, Joe Rogan is a comedian. Joe Rogan is a big comedian. Yeah, big, 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 big comedian. Jewel says you're doing a great job, but she she used your wrong. It should be Y O U R E, not Y O U R. You ever did a show, a stand up comedian with him? No, with I've Joe never Rogan? been on his podcast. I've never been on Joe Rogan's podcast. I'd love to get on. Uh, Joe, I'll talk what? about being an anti vaxxer <laughs> um, I know. I love what? Joe Rogan. I've just never from been asked. California, LA. He's from Boston originally, but he lives he in lives Texas. In, oh, he lives Boston, in Texas. Texas now. Yep. Yep. I mean, so you many times you've been to Texas and you never got to meet him? No, I never got and, to meet him. I never got on the show. But hopefully, you think this year I'm going to get on the Joe Rogan show, TT? Um, hopefully, I hope so. Do you want to come on it? Yeah, yeah. Because wasn't he the one talking about uh, me um, sucking off Son of Sam? No, that was Tim Dillon. Oh, Tim, Tim Dillon. Tim Dillon, good friend yeah. of the show, Tim, Timmy Dillon. Oh, Rihanna. She's pregnant. pregnant. Wow, who is that? Is it that? your baby? That's her man. ASAP yeah. Rocky. What is he? He's a rapper, rapper, yeah. but also a model, fashion model. Do they live in New York, Rihanna and ASAP Rocky? Yeah, they do live in New York City, from what I can see. Yeah, she's beautiful, right, uh, Rihanna? Yeah, she is. Do you like her? Uh, I like him better. Okay, uh -huh. <laughs> he's wearing a car hood jacket. He dresses like homeless pimp a little bit, ASAP Rocky. Love ASAP Rocky. Yeah, wow, she really is stunningly man. gorgeous. Holy smokes! Yeah, yeah, it's, Holy it is. She's like, always just been crazy. Beautiful. She's got a. She, you know, she's a billionaire. She is? She's mm -hmm. a billionaire? A billion. A billion. That's a lot of Patreon followers. She does commercials for um, L'Oreal, I think. The face, no, the face of, of for makeup. For a few of those things. Yeah, yeah, she has her own lingerie line. All right, so who do you got in the Super Bowl this weekend, TT? Do you have the Bengals or the Rams? Who do you, who do you think? The Rams. Why do you want the Rams? I'm just picking the Rams. Oh, you know who you would who like? Who you like? Who you go for? I want to see Bengals? the Bengals win. I want to see the Bengals. Oh, that's good. So I have a nice little bet. The Bengal. I'm picking the Bengals. You're picking the Rams. All right. What's going on with Nick Cannon and Hart? And Homeless Pimp is picking edibles. Yeah. The HL on the way. That's his, that's his girl now? One yeah. of his baby mamas. One of his baby mamas. Is mama. that the one that he had the baby with that they passed away? They passed. I'm not that's sure. a good question. I is guess that not. That's I guess he had two women pregnant at the same time. You know his his little baby that passed yeah. away is that the mother? I know. I was supposed kid? to do. I was supposed to do his show that day that it happened. Oh yeah, yeah. And, and they canceled, canceled the show. It. So that's his other wife. I think oh, he might have girlfriend. had two women that's pregnant at the same time. That's his wife or his girlfriend. His girlfriend. I don't think. I don't, it's, think I don't know if married. he does. I don't know if he does. Um. Uh. You know. Uh. Oh, what is this? John Krasinski responds to Amy Schumer's joke that his marriage to Emily Blunt is what? Did this happen recently? Oh, this happened years ago. I always oh, okay. thought that Nick Cannon was going to go back with Mariah, but I guess not. I hope they do. Hope Mariah Why? gets Why back. Why would you want to go him to Mariah? go back with Ma Mariah? I don't know. It's just to be fun. I, I like. I like when. I like when things come full circle. I remember after she left Nick Cannon, she got with this dude that he was a billionaire. He was from um, where he was from. From um, wasn't it like Tommy Mottola or something? No, like that? not Tommy Mottola. She no, she had married Matt. She was with um, Tommy Mottola before she was with Nick. He Cannon. hit me with a chicken with a crab cake at a uh, stand up. Comedy I'm talking show about this billionaire she got with. And she was gonna get. She was gonna marry him, but then they they separated. They got separated. I don't know. He's from Europe or something, or from somewhere. That's he was exotic. a white guy. He a was white guy? a billionaire. Yeah, he was a billionaire. I don't want to be a billionaire. Why? It's too much money. It's too much pressure. No, I don't want to. I don't want to have billions of dollars. 
By the way, speaking of billionaires, I don't know if we spoke about it on last week's podcast, but Mark Cuban is doing such an amazing thing, bro. He's got as much money as some of these healthcare companies. Mark Cuban is getting a, a, a cost plus drug company, basically a medicine that would normally cost thousands of dollars. He's giving it away for a hundred dollars. He want he. This is literally an investment that he's doing. Where he's like, I just want people to have affordable healthcare. So, like, look, Mark Cuban. Uh, uh, oh, that guy is from Shark Tank. Yeah, plans that to offer the leukemia therapy Imantib for $47 a month, for example, compared to $120 or more with a common voucher and a retail price of 9657 bucks. He really is like, that's a guy, it's almost like borderline philanthropy. It's a beautiful thing. So, yeah, right? It's good. Because now, <laughs> if you don't have insurance or whatever, you can buy this affordable. I don't know if every drug is available through this program, but... I mean, shout out Mark Cuban, dude. Shout out Cubans. That. But now do you think he'll get killed? I mean, Big Pharma seems scary. Big Pharma will probably kill him, yeah. They'll probably give him some type of rare cancer. That's the Illuminati's Big Pharma. You know. Yeah, Big Pharma. Yeah, they'll do whatever. I mean, they could put whatever. Big Pharma tomorrow could just start putting shit in the food. It, it I doesn't mean, matter. I all the bullshit with Who? the vaccines, Big Pharma. I mean, it's all Who Big Pharma. Who is the richest person in the world? Bill I Gates would, is one of them, though. Bill Gates or Jeff Bill, Bezos, uh, maybe. Bill, or, well, there's that guy Carlos no, there's, Slim in there's, Mexico. There's, uh, um, Arab dude. I or think Prince. he's the, the richest guy in the world. I think he's Arab. No. The richest person in the world is Elon Musk as of today, two hundred sixty-nine billion. Is he Arab? Yeah, he's Arab. No, he's a South African. South yeah. African. Jeff Bezos, one hundred eighty-seven billion. Versus, so, so uh, Elon Musk has got. But uh, Bill like Gates is one of them, though. Um, how, how much Bill Gates I got? Bill Gates. Bill is Gates one... in the top five. There he yeah, is. Yeah, Bill Gates right there. In twenty nineteen, six. He got bumped. Yeah, he got bumped. What can you do? Two hundred sixty-eight billion. That's pretty good. That's pretty uh, good. They, uh, Who's the rich, who is the richest YouTuber? Go down there. Who's the richest YouTuber? Oh, right there. Oh, is it the Paul brothers? Okay. All right. Now, one of the... the uh, they uh, live in Puerto um, Rico. Um, um, the richest woman in the world, a black Oprah. woman, is Oprah Winfrey. I think she might be the richest woman in the world, period, they, right? They, they, so? no, they got, the, they got another woman that's the richest woman in the Jeff world. Jeff Bezos is ex, right? Is she? Let's. Who's the richest the, woman in the world? Oprah Winfrey's up there. She's one of them. No, Oprah's amazing. Yeah. I love Oprah. Yeah. Oh no, is the and richest he, woman in the world according to Forbes? Uh, French L'Oreal heiress Francois Betancourt Myers is the richest woman in the world. Interesting. Who okay. are the ten no, richest? No, Oprah's not even on the list. Who are the ten richest females? I don't know. No, but I'm talking about black, black girl, black woman. She's one. She's the top one. She's the richest black woman in the world. I'm talking. It about... It has to be Oprah. Oh no, it's not. No. Follow Runzo Akajia is the richest woman in Nigeria with an estimated net worth of one billion. Who is wow. the richest black female in the world? Oh wow, she looks fun. Oh, follow Runzo Alaka I, I thought it was Oprah. Ni uh, Nigerian billionaire. It's Nigeria crazy. is is from what a uh, good friend of mine, Godfrey, who's a great comedian, told me. Nigeria is the top, like they believe they're like the number one African country. Like Nigeria is like England, like they speak like the Queen's African. You know what I mean? Like they're the most elite, well-to-do African country is Nigeria. That's what that's what I've been told. Interesting. I'd love to visit. You want to go to Nigeria? Or Africa, yeah. Just go. You can't there. just go though, unfortunately. So you got to get, get a shot. And... See, there you go. Um, American media, Margaret Oprah Winfield with two point seven million. Now, how does Rihanna billion, have one point seven billion dollars? Is it just from she's touring the face and singing? of L'Oreal uh, of ah, um, okay of makeup. She has her own merch. I mean, just like you were explaining the other day with like hair product or something. These people make yeah. money. She's off. just crushing. Good for Rihanna. $1.7 billion, and, you know, she's only 33 years old. Good for her. Oh, that's the year Christ died. Be careful. Oh, her birthday's coming up, February 20th. Happy happy birthday, Riri. Ooh. The, one that, the one that's a millionaire is the one from the Kardashians, the, um, um, Jenna. Um, Jenna Kardashian? Kylie Jenna. Kylie. Kylie, Kylie Jenner, Jenner. She got over $1 billion. $1 billion. What do you even do? What do you do? That's what I'm day? saying. It's too much money. What do you do? It's too much you money. Just stare at your phone. Yeah, I don't want. It, it becomes really? a thing where you, a billion, because then you don't work anymore. Give me. I'd like two million dollars. Two million dollars, because then it's like I have money where it's like things are okay, but I still got to work. 
Like you know? it becomes that line of when things are too comfortable, they don't even you don't even feel rewarded. No, just nothing excites you. A lot of these people kill themselves. Yeah, for real. No, a yeah. lot of a lot of those people they turned out to get hooked on pills and all that, and right. they commit suicide. Yeah, they so overdose hard. on pills. All these. Rich Can you make people. me lunch today? Are you gonna make lunch? You want some lunch? What are you gonna make? Why you want a hot with gandule? Hot dog gandule. Yeah, I'm, I'm not eat, trying not to eat bread. Oh, Me wow. and Pimp haven't. He Pimp hasn't eaten anything yet today. I had a, no, I had I, a steer I yogurt. Ate nothing either. I yeah, I just had spoon. a cup of coffee That's all day. A magic spoon in there. Yeah, it's a magic spoon. Did you throw a banana in there? I got no. an appointment to my doctor today. Uh, yeah. What time, Papa? At two thirty. Okay. okay. All right. Well, thank God I'm here. Uh, and w- yeah. what uh what goes on in prison for Valentine's Day? Nothing. Every everything the same. Every day is the same shit. Did you have a Valentine like a, one of the COs or anything every year Valentine? Um, CEOs used to bring me like little stuff and things like that. Little candies and throw them inside my cell and shit. Oh, like that's that. nice of them. Yeah. What was the nicest Valentine's Day you had in jail? The nicest Listen. day. Nicest Valentine's Day. A nice big cock wrapped in a bow. <laughs> in a bow. <laughs> on a bow, a little heart with a little bow. I, I for my Valentine's, well, yeah. I, every year Delilah's my Prison. daughter's been my Valentine. This year, uh, of course, Vinny. We're gonna go to the Knicks game. Um, it ain't nothing special. They don't have no. I want homeless. Like pim- who wants to be homeless? Pim's Valentine. Who wants to be homeless? Pim's Valentine. I think TT. I'll be homeless. Pim's <laughs> you know Valentine. There you go. Day. TT's homeless. Pim's Valentine. Pimp, you know what I'm thinking? While we have CT there, anybody email any questions to Chrissy Chaos Podcast at gmail.com? Can we just can we just let just see. get one or two of them? I Chris- checked last time and they were not good, but let me see. They were not what do you mean they were not good? It was just like just nothing. There was no questions. Shit show. Yeah. Chrissy Chaos Podcast at gmail.com. If you email Chrissy Chaos Podcast at gmail.com, we will answer some questions live on the show, which we love to do. Um, there's no way Pimp remembers the password for Chrissy Chaos Podcast. Do you remember see, it? Let's see, let's see. Ah, uh, there's no way he remembers it. Um, and then how about this? At patreon.com slash Christy Comedy, what I'm thinking is, is the special in Puerto Rico, I want to put it on Patreon first. I want to put it on Patreon for three when, days. When is this to the Puerto Rico? Um, we're going to try to do it. The, we're going to do it the first weekend of April. That's when we're looking April. to do it. So book. So the yeah, first... Can't, I don't have this password. You don't have to, so we have to... Venetia has it. Venetia has the password, but still email the podcast. So I want to I wanna answer questions every week again. I love okay, doing cool. that. At the end of the show, I want to answer fans' questions every I week. I wonder so, if anybody watches your YouTubes in Puerto Rico. I, your uh, stand-up comedy yes, shows and all that. We you, have, uh, when, I, and now, have, when I said that I want to do it in Puerto Rico, a couple of Puerto Rican people reached out. One oh, guy really? owns a brewery. Yeah, another comedian reached out. She was like, well, I'll help you with book the venue. Everything. So the people in Puerto Rico uh, hopefully support me. We'll support the show. We're going to have a great time. Uh, the first weekend of April, book your time. We're going to San Juan, Puerto Rico. Come down. Be a part of the show. Be a part of my special. Yes, uh, and I'm Spanish. Did the Jerry's Puerto Rican. And yes. And listen, baby. We had a great time with TT this weekend, Friday, February 11th, Warner Theater, Washington, D.C., Saturday, February 12th. Oh, my God. I'm so excited. The Tabernacle in Atlanta, February 26th, the Borgata in Atlantic City. That's where we'll be, February 26th. Then March 4th is Cleveland, March 5th, Detroit. So that's where we'll be. Um, I'm excited for the 5th. This Saturday is the Beacon Theater. Yeah, well, no, that was yeah. last week. The Beacon Theater was last week because we're, we're, we're filming. This episode comes out next week. Uh. But this Saturday, we just there. Yeah, last Saturday, we did the Beacon Theater, and Jerry had a great time, and he peed on the front row. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Happy Qu- Valentine's Day. What's up with uh, what Kanye West? Can't perform, Can't perform in Australia, in Australia unless, unless he's fully, unless vax. fully vaccinated. Yes, he can't. So you got to get your vaccine if you want to go to Australia. That's what it is. Get on your balcony. Get 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 TT Jerry on his balcony. Happy Valentine's Day. We love you. If I wait, oh, no. go go go. What? If anybody knows about an apartment for sixteen hundred a month with a balcony, get to me. Get at it. <laughs> get to me. I love that.